from status by the Citizenship Foundation in 2014, the Department for Education told all schools to promote British values and produce advice for doing so for spiritual, moral and social and cultural development. Uh, Ofsted pays a lot of attention to this when they're grading a school, so if well, they're grading it outstanding, they'll take into account the British values, or even if they're grading it inadequate, and then go and listen. Yeah. Go on to democracy. Okay, so I chose to discuss um, democracy today. Um, I thought it was uh, important to introduce um, that democracy is the right of general public to vote and to have a voice and, and a say in their country by the government. Um, may women be allowed to vote? Do women have the same rights as men? No, they didn't always have. Um, right up until actually it was um, 1918 when the representation of the People Act came into force and then <laughs> women over the age of 30 was allowed to vote. Um, these groups of women worked hard for the rights to vote to be heard and for it to be equal to men as well. Um, an equal rights rate. So after women protested and finally got to vote and become equal, Great Britain is now more of a modern day society with more equal opportunities for the people of all ages, gender, race and religion. For example, children are encouraged at such a young age to be equal with the use of toys, games and equipment in nursery environments and I've said have policies and procedures around this. Um, I have chose to put one on here because the policies um, that is encouraged uh, in the UIFS framework, um, it's encouraged to have gender, gen, gender different, gen, different types of uh, toys for children to play with. So, um, for example, if a, boy, if a little boy wants to look push a pram, play with a baby, he can, because like, in, a, in society now, everybody's equal. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm... So then we're going to go on to the role of law, and this is uh, put in place in schools to enable students to distinguish right and wrong, and to respect civil and criminal law. Then individual liberty is the liberty of those persons who are free from external restraints. This is also freedom of speech where students are encouraged to voice their wishes, voice their views in a formative manner. This is not the freedom to do what they want but to do what is right. Then we're going to go to mutual respect. Uh, this is of those with different faiths and beliefs or religions. The or those without. Religious studies is a mandatory subject, so students learn about the different religions and they can gain a better understanding. So they're not going to offend someone with a different religion because they didn't know. Fifty-eight percent of HR well, HR has gone up by fifty-eight percent since two thousand and fifteen. And this includes that it is due to the EU referendum. Um, crimes not only of a nuclear attack, uh, this can be attacked on their sexual orientation or discrimination of their disability or religious belief. During the week, the Counter Terrorism Internet Referral Unit are removing over a thousand pieces of content uh, that breach that breach terrorism legislation and approximately 800 of these are Syria and Iraq related and have been posted on multiple platforms so like social media. Um, <laughs> Josh did radicalization, but, uh, radicalization of the social activity of, in which an individual or most commonly a group of people with the same ethnicity or interest would adapt or promote extreme politics and religious views. They contradict the integrity of the British values and diversity. Uh, the Human Rights Act is a UK law passed in 1998. That means you can defend your rights in the UK courts <coughs> and the public organisations, including the government, 
and the police and local council must treat everyone equally with fairness, dignity and respect. But since then, the Human Rights Act the Human Rights Act has been brought into place by the government and they have also well since the Human Rights Act has been brought into place by the government, they've also introduced the Equality Act 2010, which legally protects people from discrimination in the workplace and in wider society. The Equality Act replaced pre uh, many previous anti discrimination laws, making it more easier to understand and strengthening the protection people get. The law sets out the different ways in which it is unlawful to treat another person. So basically, the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. So if it's unfair, because if one person is being treated uh, unfairly, then why isn't another person? Um, and then an overview. Uh, British values are necessary are a necessity for everyone to learn and abide by in order to help learn right from wrong and encourage people to be more open to another person's beliefs, views or opinions. And remember one person should not be accounted for another individual's or group's actions. We, don't, we didn't blame the whole of uh, one religion or race for the actions of the KKK, so why do we blame the whole of the Muslim religion for uh, extremists like ISIS. Yeah? That would be a big Do you want me to leave it on while she gives feedback? No, you can just turn it off.